Hello there YouTube, this is dr 96 as and today I'm back with uh, another Samsung Galaxy Mini video. Today uh, I'm gonna give you a bit, uh, a few, well actually just two tips on how you can um, keep your cell phone sped up, I'd say, or uh, just make sure it doesn't slow down and uh, how you can keep up uh, with the speed um, in case you're uh, feeling a little lag here and there. So uh, there's just two things. I'm just gonna go through that real quick. Um, the first thing is you're gonna go up to the menu button. This is provided you have the Samsung uh, uh, Galaxy firmware, so you'd have the Task Manager app. Um, otherwise, you can download a secondary app called, uh, let's say, Advanced Task Killer or uh, uh, stuff like Astro File Manager. You get a free Task Manager with that. So. Uh, you, uh, you can use those applications. I'm going to use the Samsung Tax Manager over here. I'm going to click that. Oops. And um, as you can see, uh, we have the active applications, package, and RAM, as well as summary tabs. We're going to go to the RAM summary. And uh, I just really <coughs> excuse me, uh, cleared my memory right now. So uh, usually you'd see that you'd have uh, only up to 30 megabytes of free RAM left. I have uh, 120, so that's not a real problem for me. Um, if you're in gingerbread, you should be having um, an approximate or an average of about 130 megabytes of RAM used. So uh, you, that, that would leave a lot of RAM left out. Or if you're on Froyo, you'd have around, uh, let's say, um, really you're, you'd have 200 megabytes of free space. So uh, that's the division. Gingerbread uses up a little more, a little more uh, RAM than... Uh, the Froyo version, because of the uh, uh, the processes it runs in the background. So basically, just to um, delete all the existing applications you're using, you're just gonna click clear memory. That's all, and uh, it says two applications closed. No rooting, no hacking, no doing all the super user hacks or whatever. Just pressing clear memory. So uh, you can press that uh, any number of times you want. I'm uh, just gonna say zero applications. So. Uh, once you're done with that, that's the, that's the uh, tip number one. The uh, second tip, whoops, I have fruit crumbs anyway. Uh, the second, get out of fucking shit. Anyway, sorry. The second one is uh, going to the uh, settings. I'm gonna close this. Uh, go back to the menu and go back to the settings. Uh, since you press clear memory, it closes all the app running applications, so the menu bar has to start up again. So go to settings, go to applications, and. Uh, manage applications and you're gonna see a list of applications and a list of all the um, total device memory and how much it's used up so you can see that I have 64 MB free out of the 117 MB so that's I'd, I'd say optimum for um, a cell phone with uh, low memory it shouldn't go below let's say uh, 40 megabytes so uh, you have to make sure. So uh, the other day I had around 15 MB of free space, and it was really, really slow. So uh, whoops. Anyway, so uh, what I did was, as you can see uh, below each application, the uh, file size is given. So what you have to do is count for the uh, biggest file size. Uh, let's say uh, Fruit Ninja. Yeah, I have Fruit Ninja over here, and I've already moved it to the SD card, so it's a little blacked out so yeah so you can do that uh, you can move it to the SD card and it takes off the memory for um, from the phone memory so when you load up the phone or when you switch it on after you switch it off it doesn't uh, uh, take any RAM to load the applications automatically it just uh, shows up on the menu and once you uh, and it opens up only once you uh, hit the button so it doesn't use up much RAM or your memory so yeah that's another tip I guess that's it for now guys thanks for watching uh, this tip was brought to you by geekjoy.co.cc